Today we're setting up a 10 by 10 tent. We open up the frame to about five feet wide, making sure the crown is pointing towards the top and the crown is securely into that center track. This will make your life easier as we go forward. Uh, it's much easier to do with two people, although you can do it with one. Um, with the frame partially set up, we're just pulling the cloth over the top, securely set that top into the gusset in the corner. I like to leave the valance folded upward and you'll see why in a few minutes. The other thing that's key is you got to set the cross in the middle of the crown so that your cloth sets up straight on your tent. Now again, what we're doing here is we're just walking that tent out to the 10 by 10 size that it is. And you can see here why we left that balance folded down a little bit. It makes it easier to click the, the buttons into the legs when you get to the full 10 foot width. As you can see, it's on a spring. And as you raise it up, it'll click into place. There it is clicked into place. Now you just pull that balance down. Again, give it a good tug, securely square those into the corner. On the inside of the tent, there are straps, Velcro straps that holds the sides in place. Again, you wanna keep a good straight visual line down the sides. When you're setting up the legs, um, it's common to go to like two visible holes open or three. Three visible holes open sets your tent up at about seven feet off the ground in a walkable area, which is very comfortable for almost everyone to walk under. Uh, you'll notice that we put Velcro on all four sides. This is so if you get into a situation where you got a side wind, you can move the back wall to one of the sides if that makes it more convenient for you. Again, you never know where the wind is coming from. This center adjustment is right on the middle of the tent frame underneath and you can twist it and there's an up and down arrow and that'll just give you a little bit more stretch to that tent uh, cover and keep those lines a little crisper, a little straighter. If you bought a side rail kit, the, the hardware for the side rails come in five pieces. It's a joiner in the middle, again, spring clip together. The two rails go together. Uh, this can only be put together one way, so it makes it quite simple. Once you've got the bar put together, then you take the two clips that clip onto the tent legs themselves. Um, I like to use a common height of about four feet. Uh, on, on me, that's my armpit. You'll see I just use like, okay, approximately there is a good place to start. And then down to the other leg, put the second clip on. Again, kind of using that standard height for me, works well, clicks it on. And then you take the, the side rail post and it can only go on to the clip one way from the top down, slides in then to the back of the tent. Now you may have to adjust that leg in or out a little bit, that's fine. It will actually keep it a straight 10 by 10 and a much cleaner. So here it is, a very simple 10 by 10 with a decorated top and balance setup.